Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Norali and on this channel we discuss skincare, lifestyle, and fashion. I have not talked about skincare in a minute. It's been a very long time and I figured I was it was about time I talked a little bit about skincare because my skin went through a little bit of a journey in the last few months and there was a lot of trial and error involved in terms of how I kind of healed my skin a little bit and I figured I'd discuss some of the products and tips that I used in case it might be beneficial to you. Now you might notice the setup is a little bit different. Typically when I film my fashion hauls or fashion videos, I'm standing back there so that's the only background you see. Today I'm at my desk, so you see the actual layout of the room, which is an ironing board, some shoes. Ignore what's going on in the background. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd sit down today and discuss a little bit about some skin products that I think are definitely worth the investment. Um, and I have seen a little bit of a difference with, actually more than a little bit. I'm saying a little bit just because I'm trying to be careful with my wording because everyone's skin is so different and it reacts so differently to other skincare products. As I will go into an example, um, I used a product that is very much well loved and my skin did not react well at all and it took me a while to figure out it was this beloved product. Anyways, I'm babbling a lot, so let's just get started. A little bit about me in terms of my skincare credentials. Literally, I'm gonna be honest, none in terms of I'm not, not a dermatologist nor am I an esthetician, just a consumer, a very passionate consumer because I am someone who struggled with her skin pretty much ever since I hit puberty. I used to have a lot of acne, um, oily skin, I've been on Accutane, and after Accutane I've been dealing with kind of texture issues because I do have acne scarring, like the actual scarring, and hyperpigmentation. Uh, so basically my skincare journey has been long and it's always evolving. And my skin currently, so after Accutane, uh, I was on Accutane I think probably like over 10 years ago at this point, um, it really dehydrated my skin. So my skin is typically dehydrated but extremely sensitive and extremely reactive. My T-zone does get oily, so I guess it's a little bit dehydrated slash combo. So that's a little bit about my skin, just putting that out there so you kind of know that my products are recommended based on my skin. So if your skin's oily, it might not work. So if your skin's a little bit different than mine, maybe the products might not work, but if you have similar skin to mine, maybe these products might work if you're particularly trying to um, replenish your skincare barrier and heal your skincare barrier. So a little bit of context, um, back in December, um, I've tried tretinoin here and there, but I've never made it past like a week or two weeks mark. And tretinoin is touted as the holy grail, right? All of us, if you're watching a skincare video, I'm assuming you know tretinoin. All of us have heard about it. It's the gold standard for anti-aging. It's the gold st standard for acne. Um, it's supposed to be the one-all, be-all, end-all kind of skincare product. It's backed up with science, and there are a lot of people who have seen great benefits. For me, what happened was I tried using tretinoin in December, and I tried to ease myself into it. And now I'm hearing conflicting things about whether you should actually ease yourself into it. Anyways, tried it um, because I was having textural issues and my acne scars have always been something I do want to fix. Like, in the sense that if there's an OTC product that I can use or um, a cream that I can use that's prescribed by, by a dermatologist, I'm down to try it to see if it improves. I'm scared of microneedling for acne scarring, so I, I don't know if I would venture down that, that path. But anyways, I digress. Um, so with tretinoin, so my incentive with using tretinoin was uh, to improve my texture and possibly, I know it takes a while, but to possibly even improve acne scarring. Um, I knew I, I know it's a long journey. I, I know it truly is. You have to be very patient, but I started using it in December. I started off initially with once a week, and then twice a week, then I tried to do three times a week. And I know you really had to power through your girl spoiler alert, could not power through. Um, it really wreaked havoc on my skin in terms of like, I, even when I would put on makeup after like the first three weeks or three and a half weeks, my makeup would be so flaky all around here no matter what I did. My skin would be parched no matter how much I felt like I was hydrating it. Even when I would work out, my skin and face would get flushed so fast, so easily, and I would literally be red all around here. So. My skin was going through it and like going on red and all that stuff, a lot of people recommend Vanny Cream. 
so that's another thing I was using I was sandwiching the tretinoin with the vani cream which another spoiler alert it turned out I was I'm allergic to vani cream my eyes would continue getting puffy my face would be so inflamed and I kept thinking it was the tretinoin so I stopped the tretinoin and then I continued using vani cream because this is um, a cult favorite everyone says this is so worthwhile it's a simple moisturizer but it does the trick it is life-changing continued using it because I'm like you know what I still have dehydrated skin and my skin's extra dried out after the tretinoin so why not um big mistake or maybe not mistake because that's how i came to find out because my eyes were still getting puffy and i'm like okay is this residual effects of the tretinoin because i know that it can dry your eyes out apparently close up the glands or reduce the oily oil reduce like the glands in the eye whatever the, i don't know conflicting reports again um no no turned out it was the vani cream for me um it was causing my eyes get puffy like i would literally have to close my eyes and go to sleep because they would burn so much every time i used it but it took me over a month to figure out it was the vani cream so i stopped using vani cream completely i went back to the bare bones which is my crv um i don't know why i try to move away this is tested and true for me whenever my skin gets um reactive i go back to this and this does the job anyways more about this later so i stopped the vani cream and i also stopped tretinoin because at that time i was also um going to costa rica within a month and costa rica um it's temperate um conditions um we were planning to go to the beach would which would also be humid and hot and i just wanted to make sure that because my skin was healing from everything um i kept it protected with this um with sunscreen and i don't want to inflict more on it so i stopped tretinoin and i also I know you really do have to push through it takes around six months to see proper results with retinoin and it gets worse before it gets better but the worst for me was very hard to cope with uh because makeup wasn't looking right um my skin felt a little bit painful when i would like it would get flushed um it felt painful when i would apply my skincare products so for me i really found it difficult uh to keep pushing through or kind of be motivated to push through um some people's results look amazing but i'm like you know what i do use acids um exfoliants so maybe that's what i just kind of have to do like kind of um resort to that and rely on that so stop the tretinoin um i think a month before i was going to costa rica and i went back to the basics like i said which was CeraVe, and then i was using the paula's choice hydrating um toner for a bit as well i was also exfoliating i know you're not supposed to when your skin's um kind of uh recovering but i was still using paula's choice bha because i was i was still getting like i still had like textures from my reaction so i would use this sparingly though like once a week if that um but anyways went back to that for a few weeks and then in between i was trying different products too as well um to see kind of what would help strengthen my skincare barrier and i think i have it down i really think i have it down so long story long uh i have the product that really worked um i'm happy to say after what two and a half months or so uh of kind of just peeling everything back like i said to healing ingredients and basic products more or less uh my skin i feel like knock on wood is finally at a place where it's becoming a little bit uh, strengthened and a little bit less reactive and to be honest uh, there is one product that i feel like i'm seeing a brightening effect with which i'll get into um, a little bit later but back in january i was really scared that uh like that dry parched up skin would be forever but thankfully some of these drugstore products are all all of them are drugstore products except for two one is korean and one is a little bit higher end but i these products i really rely on and i'm gonna have them in my rotation for a very long time so i'm gonna start talking about them now in order that i would apply them okay so first um for toners like i said i was using the paula's choice which was fine it did the job it really did like um put moisture in but then i started using this neogen gen naturals real ferment micro essence 93 percent microbio ferment complex so this is an essence um this i got from style vanna it is a k-beauty product and it's supposed to be for brightening and hydrating so on the back it says a hydrating and brightening essence that contains more than 93 percent microbio ferment complex to deliver instant skin benefits this fermented essence is formulated with natural brighteners for glowing supple skin 
simple was a buzzword that got me into this and i'm happy that i did so i've been using this and clearly as you can see like it's barely made a dent even though i've been using it daily um the ingredients seem simple and i liked that it was 93 percent of the microbio ferment complex decided to try it out so glad i did because i know and like I know people say toners aren't necessary, but I really do enjoy, and the essences are different from toners to an extent, but like I really do enjoy these Korean essences because I find them very hydrating, especially when your skin has been parched or has been reacting or inflamed. I feel like essences do help soothe the skin down because they do deliver um, hydration in a way that I don't find that other toners or Western toners have. So I love this. Um, basically what I do is after I shower, while my skin is still damp, I'll use this essence and then after the essence I will go in with so this is the little bit of a higher-end product um, I've been using this for maybe a month and I hate to see it I not see it sorry I love to see it I hate to say it I hate to say it I think I've been seeing a difference so this is the Coda leave in a perfect serum um, Again, if you're watching a skincare video, I'm sure you've heard about this. This is a cult favorite. They say it's supposed to be more potent than or more effective than vitamin C. I don't know how realistic those claims are, but I do know I've tried various vitamin Cs in the past to no avail. I, I haven't seen the I haven't tried the SkinCeuticals one. And I thought about getting the SkinCeuticals vitamin C, but I'm like before I go down that route, because it is very expensive, I'm like, let me try this. So in the past I've tried the Paula's Choice Vitamin C and I have tried uh the timeless vitamin c and it i didn't see any difference but with this i genuinely have been seeing a difference so like i said i'll shower i'll use this essence i'll wait a little bit and then i'll apply this and unfortunately it's been working i feel like it has like when i'm like obviously right now i have makeup on but when i'm not wearing makeup i feel like my skin does look more even toned brighter it has like a little bit more of a glow kind of like that glow that i was looking for when i started using cretinone i feel like I'm, I'm getting it through this which kind of is unfortunate because this is expensive it's a hundred dollars per bottle so um i mean it is what it is the way i justify it is the rest of my routine is kind of more bare bones and a little bit more affordable so this is a splurge product um if you want to try it i say get it directly from the Lee website because typically like not typically a lot of times they do do sales do do they do have sales uh so i think it might be worth checking out through that but i have been loving this so and this has not aggravated my skin at all again this isn't hydrating so this i got more for brightening um uh, this is hydrating and brightening this i got for brightening if you're real like don't look for hydration in this product because you're not going to get it um so this the serum is for that job and then so typically what i'll do is either i'll apply this this is the aven um sika sickle fate uh hydrating skin recovery emulsion uh this i got on a whim again from shoppers drug mart because it has sika and that's supposed to be very healing and on the back it does say that um apply twice a day to compromised areas got it for that purpose again simple ingredients uh seemed promising and it delivered um i find it very soothing it is a l lighter kind of emul emulsion so it sinks into the skin but still hydrate hydrates it is very hydrating and healing in my opinion it really i feel like has helped strengthen my skin barrier and um i love it i know there is another one that's more of a thicker um cream my shoppers drug mart didn't have that but i am curious to try that down the line but i'll use this next and i love it um feel like it's a good healing step then this really did blow my mind again i i really am a crb girl i will stay loyal this is always there so eucerin let's talk about it um it has urea yeah this has five percent urea and this is the moisturizing cream so before i bought this i tried their um face cream which is a smaller tube more or less the same ingredients as this from what i remember but again five percent urea which is supposed to be very good if your skin's dehydrated parched or if your skincare barrier has been compromised tried that loved it loved it i was using that daily when like my skin was going through it with um tretinoin so because of that like when i did stop everything and i had the reaction from tretinoin plus vanity cream 
went out and bought this i adore this um this does leave a little bit of a sheen when you use it but it is so hydrating it does not leave my skin dry at all i'll wake up the next day and my skin's still plump and moisturized and this is a drugstore product so it is affordable and i think this is amazing this, again it's uterin these are the people who make aquaphor so i mean they know what they're doing i have the aquaphor that i use on my lips and i Okay, sorry, my camera just decided to shut off randomly. As I was saying, Eucerin, this is definitely worth it. Um, bought this on a whim, but skincare is so subjective because everyone really recommended Vanny Cream and that did not really work for me. So try this if you are curious, because um, it is from the drugstore, so in that, in that sense it is affordable. Uh, urea, it says 5% urea, our gold standard ingredient, intensely moisturizes by improving the skin's water binding capacity. Can confirm this to be true. Loved it. I would wake up and my skin would still be plump and hydrated. And I feel like this really made such a big difference in just healing my skin. This has been a game changer and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Please don't mind the sun creeping in through. Hold up. There we go. Um... So yeah, love this and ha, like it's these, it's Eucerin guys, they're the makers of Aquaphor so they know what they're doing, They can, not even worth doubting them, um, this has been amazing, truly a lifesaver and of course a lot of nights I would use this and on top, I know this might sound extra to some people if, but like my skin was really compromised and on top I would use this to lock it in, this is the CeraVe moisturizing cream has ceramides this i've been using for i think eight years reliable product for me and always necessary i always need a top of this in my skincare routine no matter what i venture out to i always come back to this so i love this so i would use this then i would use this on top and sometimes i would also mix in the ordinary rosehip oil and this and apply it so this has been amazing these two like this is such a this is such a skeleton product for me then this has been a life changer i'm so glad i found this so like i said so those are my moisturizers and now i'm gonna talk about another product that i feel like holy crap it was amazing the cicoplast balm b5 i did not get the hype around this for a very long time but i finally get it now that my skin's been compromised because this so this has um panthenol in it five percent it has been so soothing so healing and genuinely i feel like it would soothe my skin but also just make it better like it would make my skin less aggravated it would take away the redness like my skin would just absorb it and get better so this has like oh my god this is so good so this would be my last step it like most nights can't be without it anymore i love this these two products like these two babies are so good love them and i think this will always be this will always need to be in my skincare rotation because i love it I really do love it. If your skin barrier is compromised, give this a shot. Um, it is less than 20 bucks at Shoppers Drug Mart. So again, I think it's worth trying out to see if your skin likes it or doesn't like it. But it really helped just kind of calm my skin down. And also because it helped calm my skin down, it increased how quickly um, my skin was able to recover taking the ingredients that I was applying kind of every night. Now I want to talk about some supplementary products that I was also using. So initially when I got off tretinoin and my skin was very reactive, I'm going to see if I can like insert any pictures, um, very reactive and I literally had to peel everything back. One thing I was using, like so CeraVe obviously is something I went back to but some days I would literally just use this. This is the Ordinary Rose Hip Seed Oil. I've, I've been using this since I was 25 so very like I've been using it for years. Um, literally would just use this on damp skin and let my skin do its thing and then apply moisturizer sometimes some nights but when I really had gone back to just nothing in my skincare except the bare minimum this was there I still use this a lot of times I'll mix it in with my moisturizer and apply it I love it um, I've always found this to be very again soothing and healing it calms the skin down I feel like it really does kind of maintain the skin's moisture barrier and it maintains any aggravations that might be going on. So this is in rotation, love it. Another, like other um, supplementary products I'm using 
or was using again i know you're not supposed to exfoliate but my skin like like when i would apply makeup as i was saying it would be parched it no matter what i did so i knew i needed to do something to still exfoliate and get rid of the skin cells the dead skin cells not skin cells <laughs> We need the good ones. So this is the Ordinary Mandelic Acid 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. Typically I use the Ordinary Lactic Acid. Have been using that for years. Love it. My skin loves it. Whenever I use it, I wake up with glowy skin. Um, but I've never tried Mandelic Acid. So I had this in my drawer. Pulled it out. Love it. I'm still going to get Lactic Acid. But this did the job. Um, I would use this once a week. And then alternatively, I would use the Exfoliate um, BHA by Paula once a week as well any other products i'm missing no that's it so those are the products i've talked extensively at length um and if you really are looking to improve your skincare barrier or if your barrier is compromised it will get better take it slow take it easy be gentle and that's another thing i feel like a lot of these products are extremely gentle which made a huge difference in terms of um skincare recovery very gentle products um if your skin's still recovering don't get this don't buy this now because it has fragrance in it this i started using like a month ago like after i felt like maybe it was okay to introduce this like you introduce some other products in the routine so on rotation typically um that's what i use and i'll use paula or the mandelic acid sorry mandelic acid um now i use it multiple times a week these two products not just once a week because i feel like my skin like kind of been stre strengthening up um and the rose up seed oil love it some nights i'll apply this and the moisturizers other nights i'll mix it in with the moisturizer and apply it but this has been such a staple for so long in my routine I can always turn to these two staples this was the new product that was, that changed my life use in love it love it love it honestly give it a shot if your skin's um compromised i know it's painful i understand the struggle like your skin feels painful it doesn't feel good it will get better and while it's getting better just use nourishing healing and soothing ingredients so these two products these two babies were great additions as well and of course the neogen love it got my skin ready for all the next steps so i could soak it in um but yeah so those are the products that i used when um my skin was going through it because of tretinoin and banning cream unfortunately will i try tretinoin again maybe maybe not i don't know right now i'm still just focused on moisturizing my skin and exfoliating a few times with the products that i know and i trust so i hope this video was helpful truly because i know like i was relying a lot on other people's advice when i needed to get my skin just kind of healthy again um but let me know what you think let me know if you've tried any of these products let me know if you have any recommendations of your own but i hope this was beneficial for you guys and i'll see you guys next time take care bye